Hey everyone, Danielle Church here and topping the news this half hour. The village of Celeron needs $150,000 to make updates to the playground here at the Lucille Ball Memorial Park. The funding would come from the state, but every time they've applied, six times they've been denied. The park was put in back in the 1960s, but the playground was only added 25 years ago in the wrong spot. They put it in a pit and being so close to the lake, uh, you know, they had drainage set up in it, but it got all full of wood chips and plugged up and they were never able to free it up. So it's just backs up with water every spring. Mayor Scott Schreckengoss says the village sent photos of the flooding, but the state said they needed to get more community input before they'd approve the funding. On Tuesday, the village held a public meeting to finally get some of that input. Scott says most of it was very positive and community members wanted to know how they can help. He says the way the funding works is that once approved, the state would provide 75% of the money, while the village would need to raise the other 25%. $40,000. Municipalities can't fundraise, but he says community members can, and then they can make the donations to the village, which they'll put towards the future of the playground. Uh, our park is used by so many people, not just from the community, but from outside the community. And the playground is the oldest item we have, and it's in the worst condition. And other than that, we've got a beautiful park. The village has also made other improvements here at the park. I'll tell you all about them coming up at 6. Reporting in Celeron, Danielle Church, Channel 2 News.